Greetings and welcome to Aura Commerce's video tutorial series. This is Dara with Aura Inc. and today I'll give you insight into the main capabilities a user with the role of a company administrator has in a staff front. I'll introduce you to the concept of roles, permissions and access levels in Aura Commerce. I'll focus mainly on the company account features available to a company administrator. These include registering new buyer accounts, enabling and disabling user accounts, assigning corresponding roles with a necessary level of access, reordering submitted orders for buyers or cancelling them, and more. A single Aura Commerce store comes out of the box with a predefined set of roles and permissions granted to a particular role. Roles are designed to give their owners a certain area of responsibility, which defines what users can or cannot do within the website. Usually, roles are created based on the job responsibilities of specific users – a sales manager, a marketing team member, or an administrator. Although, you can always create as many roles as required and configure them according to the needs of your company. In this tutorial, we'll explain the concept of roles and permissions in Aura Commerce. We'll give you an overview of the role structure and the four access levels – None, Users, Department and Corporate. We'll create a new role and assign this role a set of permissions with different access levels. And finally, we'll demonstrate the main processes a buyer with the role of a company administrator can perform based on the default settings. Particularly, they can create and manage new user accounts, collect company-wide statistics on orders and quotes, negotiate with sales representatives on requesting a better price under more convenient conditions and others. Let me start from the Aura Commerce structure of roles and permissions and introduce you these concepts. Defining a set of permissions enables you to control what your company users can access on the site. A user must be granted a permission to do the corresponding action on the site based on their business responsibilities and company guidelines. All permissions are grouped into roles. By default, your Aura Commerce store recognizes two types of roles – buyers and company administrators. Buyers can manage their personal accounts, order products and negotiate the quotes with sales managers, while administrators have the highest level of permissions and can access all administrative functions within a single site. They control the activities of all company buyers on the website and assign a specific role to each of them. You can find more information on the management capabilities of buyers in a related tutorial from our media library called Stuffrunt Possibilities Overview from the Buyer's Perspective. To illustrate you the role structure and permissions available on the Aura website, let's navigate to your account menu page and check the roles section. Click Account on the top right of the page and then Roles in the panel to the left. Here you can see the list of the predefined roles available in the system. These are the Administrator and the Buyer. Let's view the access and permissions related settings given to the Administrator's role by clicking Edit at the end of the selected row. Here you can check all the action permissions with a certain level of access per each entity. Account Management, Shopping, Quotes, Checkout and Orders and the permissions to access system functionalities, which are also called capabilities. As system capabilities belong to the whole system, they don't require a separate set of permissions. They can be either enabled or disabled for the role. Let's now get closer to the actions our administrator can perform within a certain entity. For our example, we'll select the Quotes tab. The set of actions may vary for some entities, but in general you have the capabilities to view or edit the entity record. In our case it's a quote and a request for quote. Also you can create new quotes and RFQs, delete them or assign another owner to them. For each of these actions you can set an access level to restrict the capabilities of each action. Let me show you how this works. Click the down arrow next to the view action within the Quotes entity to open the list of available access levels. As you can see, there are four access levels – None, User, Department and Corporate. If the None access level is selected, you as a company administrator won't be able to view any quotes created by other customers. This data is simply disabled for you. With the User access level, you can view only the quotes created by you. The Department access level enables you to view all the quotes created by other company users who belong to the same department as you. For example, 
Company A has two departments, West and East. The West department has an LA subdivision. If you, as a company administrator, belong to the West department, you won't see any records except for the ones created by any company user from the West department, as you are eligible for the department access only. The corporate access level gives you the highest possible permissions to view all the quotes created by any of your company users from your business unit, division, and all the subsidiary departments. With corporate access, you will also see the LA subdivision records. Note that neither department nor corporate access grants you access to the departments that are higher in the organization hierarchy. Additionally, you can enable or disable certain capabilities listed below the entity field. For example, if you don't want the administrator or any other role to enter the shipping address manually when submitting a quote or a request for quote, simply clear the corresponding checkbox to disable the option. Once you have set the necessary permissions and access levels for all the entities, you can now assign this role to a specific user. Scroll down to the bottom of the Edit Role page. Select the team members from the list who you want to assign this role to. For example, we are going to assign the role of the administrator only to one person, Amanda Cole, as we don't want several users to have the full control over the system. Enable Amanda's checkbox and click Save. With all these access levels and capabilities, you can easily configure any role permission that is required for your business. To create a new role of Procurement Manager, for instance, go to the Roles section under the My Account menu and click Create Customer User Role on the top right. Select a company the role will be linked to. Enter a meaningful name for the role. We'll type in Procurement Manager. Set the corresponding permissions and access levels following the guide we illustrated previously. For example, we want the Headquarter Procurement Manager to have full access to view shopping lists, orders, requests for quote, and quotes submitted by any company user, regardless of the department, and assign owners to the mentioned entities. That's why we are going to give the corporate access level to the view and assign actions to all the entities under the shopping, quotes, checkout, and orders tabs. Although we don't want to let the procurement manager create, edit, delete, or duplicate orders or quotes except for his own. That's why we'll assign the user access level to the mention actions. As for the account management permissions, We'll enable the procurement manager to process only their own data and view only their team members' information. So let's assign user permissions to all the actions in customer user address. Department permissions to view the addresses, users and roles of the procurement department team members. and no access permissions to assign, create, edit or delete any of the mentioned entities. Enable the System Capabilities checkboxes and select the users to assign this role to. Let's select Loney Townsend. Click Create to save the role. Now that you've already been introduced to the structure of roles in our commerce and the way to create and configure them, Let's go back to the company administrator and focus on the processes they can manage based on the default settings. When it comes to corporate account management in Oro Commerce, the company administrator is usually the user who creates a set of necessary roles with corresponding permissions, collects a company-wide statistics on orders, quotes, other significant data, and generally has the highest access level based on the default settings. The default settings, in turn, can be fully customized to provide a particular role with the ultimate management authority, if such is required for your business. In this part of the tutorial, I'll demonstrate you the actions you can perform within the website as the company administrator. Being the company administrator assumes that you've already been assigned this role, so you can easily log into the system with your existing credentials to manage company's corporate accounts.
Navigate to the My Account menu page by clicking the account link on the top right. The My Profile section consolidates all your personal contact information and the default addresses you use to provide the billing and shipping locations. You can edit any of this information anytime by clicking the corresponding edit icon. However, not only your profile information is enabled for editing. As the company administrator, you have the authority to view, modify, enable or disable the accounts of the employees you manage directly from the website. The Users section lists all your team members along with other employees of your company. Hover over the More Options menu to view the available actions which you can perform with each user. You can either disable or enable, view, edit, delete a selected user depending on your company's needs. For example, let's temporarily disable the account of Brandon Sambon, who took a maternity leave for a short period of time. Click Disable. With these settings, she won't be able to operate in the system under the role assigned to her. When Brenda resumes work, we'll reactivate her account by clicking Enable. Let's now change the company organization of Lois Lessard as he has recently been transferred to another department. Click Edit next to his name to open the user profile details. Click the down arrow next to the customer field to open the company's organization list. As the company administrator, with corporate access level permissions, you can view all the divisions of your company. Select Is Division. Additionally, you can edit Lois' email, first and last names, add his date of birth, and set a new password. Finally, you can also assign a new role with a certain set of permissions to him. Click Save. Now, let's delete the account of Lonnie Townsend, as he left the company a couple of days ago. Click Delete to trigger a confirmation pop-up dialog. Click Yes Delete to remove this customer user from the list. To substitute Lonnie Townsend, the company hired a new employee, Liza Soap, a procurement manager who will be in charge of the procurement department. As she is a new company user, we need to create a new account with a corresponding role for her. Click Create User in the top right corner to open the Profile Details page. Select a proper company or department. Fill in all Liza's personal information. Select Send Welcome Email checkbox. To notify Liza about her new account registration once it's created. Set a password manually or generate it automatically by enabling the relevant checkbox. Liza will receive an email with a request to reset a password. Select the necessary role based on the Liza's scope of work. As she's responsible for the procurement department, we are going to assign her the role of a procurement manager, which we have created previously. Make sure to select the Enable checkbox to activate the account once it's saved. Click Save. As you see, a new account has been successfully created. Once Liza signs into the system and adds her default address information, which is empty so far, you as a company administrator will be able to access her profile details and edit her address if necessary by clicking the corresponding edit icon. Additionally, you can manage both the company addresses and yours in the address book by clicking the Manage Address link at the bottom of the profiles page or in the Address book section in the menu on the left. Here, you can check the address on the map, add it or delete it by clicking the relevant icon at the end of the selected addresses row. Click either Plus New Company Address to create an additional company address or Plus New Address to add another personal address. Let's create a company address which the buyers with corporate access level can view. Click Plus New Company Address 
provide the required information and select the address type. Click Save. Once saved, the address automatically appears in the list. Besides processing the company user's information, you can also monitor their activity within the website by managing the requests for quotes and orders they have submitted. In the Requests for Quotes section, you can view, print or cancel any RFQ created by your company users. Click in RFQ to check its details. You can cancel the submitted RFQ and resubmit the cancelled one by clicking the corresponding button in the top right corner. Also, you can create a new RFQ by clicking plus new quote in the top right corner of the general request for quote page. Fill in all the required contact information. Additionally, you can assign a responsible owner for this RFQ. Select the product items you are requesting the quote for, set the target price, and click Submit. Check out the tutorial from our media library on Staff Run Possibilities Overview from the Buyer's Perspective for more details on how to create a request for quote and manage it afterwards. The Order History and previously purchased sections help you collect the company-wide statistics on all the orders submitted and all the items purchased from the website by your company users. Order history provides you the details on the order number, the day it was created, the address this order was shipped to, the total amount, the payment method, and the payment status. You can either check the details of the order by clicking View or submit the same order by clicking Reorder. The Previously Purchased section lists all the previously purchased products, sorted by recency, with the newest items display first by default. The Quotes section enables you to get the information on whether the submitted request for quote has been accepted by sales representatives and under what conditions. Here, you can view all the offered quotes and decide whether to accept them and submit an order or keep negotiating. That was an overview of the storefront capabilities enabled to a buyer with the role of a company administrator. We've introduced you to the concept of roles and permissions, access levels, and the way a company administrator can create and configure them. Thanks for watching. For more video tutorials, please check out the Aura Inc. Media Library and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay informed of the latest tutorials and webinars.